John King, and I own John K. King Youth and Rare Books. Yeah. And we started small, and we just kept building and building, getting more books, more libraries, and more estates, and we accumulated more books, and then we've just grown to what we are today. Well, we have over 900 categories spread over four floors. We have an art annex that's next door, and we probably have close to a million books, if not a million books. Well, we buy libraries. We try and get books that we know people will want. Since we've been in business for over 50 years, we've kind of got an idea what people are collecting, reading. So we just try and tune into what people are looking for. My name is Deborah Lee. I am. I have the title of store manager. I've been with the bookstore for 20 years. I came here as the first floor manager, and over the years, my jobs have changed and transitioned. And ultimately, I inherited this job. Uh, from the gentleman who had been the senior manager for about 30 years for John prior to that time. The store is a community space. The store, Mr. King owns the store, but we're really here for the community, and that's one of the things that we spend our time incorporating. We get a lot of young people in here. One of the things that we see ourselves as are educators, because we're educating the next generation of book buyers, we're encouraging them to purchase something that's paper that they'll have to carry with them as opposed to something that is um, media-based. We're a resource. There are books that you can't get most places. And when you come in here, you discover new ideas, you discover new authors, things you can't find on the Internet. So I think being a community-based bookstore, we're adding to the culture of the city. Um, as part of a community resource, though, we try to connect people together. We get a lot of people that come in here that are artists, that are participating in a variety of, of grant programs. Um, I've had some people that have come in here and they met other people that they needed to do business with right at our counter. We help people that feel a little bit disengaged because maybe they're very bright but very lonely um, be able to join a conversation right at our front counter. It, it's kind of funny that Amazon now is opening up bookstores that have books in them. So Amazon that has the Kindle, that has all the electronic e-books and all that, is now opening up more brick and mortar stores with real books in them. So I'm pretty suspicious if everyone keeps thinking the physical book's going to be obsolete soon. I don't think Amazon would be opening up stores with physical books in them.